everybody, this is Jeremy with Flies and Guides. We are going to teach you how to tie the mega worm today. This is not the mop fly. A lot of people get these confused, and so I think it's important we talk a little bit about it. When we have the shows at our booths, you know, this is probably the hottest thing going right now. Everybody wants to know about the mega worm, mega worm, mega worm. Um, but it is different than the mop fly. A couple reasons why. Um, this is on a jig hook. A lot of the mop flies are on a competition style hook or they're slotting the bead um, or they're just using a regular bead and they're just tying you know behind the hook so but they have to have a heavier tungsten bead to get the fly to sink because that material does not want to sink in the water it's more repellent it's water resistant this is not this is definitely soaks up the water and i love the the, the jig heads being a hundredth ounce uh, in dead water for the the fact that it falls real slow uh, and it gets fish's attention. They swim over on that fall, which is crazy. Um, and if I'm using the 80th, which we just introduced this year, I like to use that in a little bigger water because it'll penetrate and get down. So uh, that's the key. Anything that's really, really big, it's not going to get down. So with that being said, let's tie the fly, and we'll talk a little bit about the material and how you can purchase some of these when we get done tying the fly. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to use the jig that I... I actually pour and this is a black nickel finish so it's not going to rust I'm using UTC 140 I like a floss thread when I'm tying something where you're you're going to see a lot of the thread on the shank and you can't hide it okay so we're just going to do a smooth base and I do that really just to uh so it's got something to grab and I kind of want to hide that paint you know what I mean and the material, it comes like this. It comes on a big skein. Um, and you can just cut it to your desired length. That's kind of what I like about it, too. Is you can cut it to whatever length you want. I got people that have ordered these from me. And they want to fish them in bass ponds. And they want that tail extremely long. So if you see what I did, you want to cut that flat. You want it straight. And you want to fill that core in there so it doesn't really slip. And you want to grab a lot of that material. If you notice, I'm going to tie in all that excess. That really locks that in, and it really keeps it from slipping, and it's it's durable. And it, it, it creates a little bulk, so you can really create a, a nice, smooth head up here. And that's about it. I mean, Mickey Mouse can tie this fly, but I'll tell you, man, it catches a lot of big fish. I've caught a lot of big fish on this fly. It requires glue. That's that's the biggest part about it. So we're going to burn the end, and you don't want to catch this on fire. You just want to kind of hoover, you know, that over it, and you just want to cinch it so that that doesn't come apart, because it will. The last thing we do is we're going to glue it. And I like, uh, you know, a, a fairly amount of glue. Not enough to, like, glob it, but I want to definitely make sure that I'm covering all that thread. And some of it will cinch into that material, which kind of helps it, too use too much it'll harden it and this is gloss coat I like this stuff it makes that's why it's called gloss coat it makes more of a harden on, on the top and not cinch in like head cement so it, it takes a little longer for the water to penetrate through the through that gloss coat so it's just more of a bond over the thread so that's it that's all you got to do we have these kits for sale too if you just you know at the end of this video you can click the link it'll take you to the website where you can buy this stuff and these kits come in several colors, and um, my favorite is definitely the peach and the white and the chartreuse. Red's pretty good when, you know, the water's rising. The black is good at night. Uh, and then you have your natural brown worm. I usually use natural after a rain. And these are 10 bucks. They come $10, and you get a sample in here with a business card. You get 25 hooks, and you get enough material to tie around 30 in case you mess up. So that's pretty cool. And then you got these... Um, these hooks we paint them we pour them we do it all you can purchase these on the website too they come 25 uh 50 and 100 count so thanks for tuning in and we'll see you on the next video